Less than a month, anyone who helps a teen from Idaho seek an abortion across state lines could be charged with a felony. Idaho's governor just signed off on the first of its kind abortion trafficking bill. So it makes it a crime to help a minor travel out of Idaho to get an abortion without their parents' permission. If someone is convicted of abortion trafficking, they face two to five years in prison. It's set to become law in 30 days. Governor Brad Little reportedly denied a request from Governor Jay Inslee to veto the bill. Meanwhile, reaction from lawmakers, Washington Senator Patty Murray released a statement saying, quote, this law is an appalling attack on the rights of Idaho women and our most basic right as an as Americans to travel freely within our country. Well, Idaho's abortion ban has led some couples to travel across state lines to seek care in Oregon and Washington. Kayla and James Smith traveled to Washington for an abortion. The couple found out Mother's Day of last year that they were pregnant, but a 20 week anatomy scan found several fetal anomalies, including a heart defect in the baby. Doctors said Kayla's pregnancy was high risk and dangerous for her as well. We only had one choice here, which was to go full term and um, have him and then him potentially, obviously he wouldn't survive, like he may survive birth. They weren't able to tell us whether he would or not. And if he did, they could give him some palliative care. But um, we just didn't think that that was right and didn't want him to feel pain. Planned Parenthood representatives in Spokane said that last January, or sorry, of January of last year to this year, it saw a 75% increase in the number of Idaho patients crossing state lines for treatment. Another Planned Parenthood clinic opened up last month in Ontario, Oregon. That's a 45-minute drive from Idaho's capital.